I'll admit it. When Ocasio-Cortez won the primary, I was happy. And I, and I cheered for her. I kid you not, the video exists on this channel. It's like a half an hour long. I go through her policy positions and I'm like 60% of what she proposed as her main policy talking points. I was like spot on ending private prisons, environmentalism, uh, uh, expanding healthcare. Well, not healthcare for all. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a universal healthcare guy, but I'm, I'm like, uh, uh, God, I'm like a moderate Democrat. You know what I mean? Like that's where I fall. Public options, expanding coverage. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. I was happy because she ousted this incumbent, but she has proven herself to be just an awful person. It's like, look, you know, what really bugged me recently is the border crisis. It's a crisis, okay? And these children are dying, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I, I don't want to support it. I don't want to be in a country that does, but I don't know what the solution is. You certainly just, just don't have kids wandering the desert, which is apparently what their proposal is. The conditions in these centers are horrifying, and they're moving many of these kids. We've seen the videos. Good. Can we get some funding? It's been, it's been said now for weeks in the press, in the mainstream, Congress fund, you know, give Trump the money he's asking for. We need to provide resources to at least give these people humane conditions. Can we do it for everybody? We can't. Something needs to be done to disincentivize the behavior. What do we have here? Staged. AOC slammed for pushing photos of herself at border to help concentration camp remarks. It appears that AOC, while campaigning, campaigning or something, went to the border, went to a border facility and pretended to be upset. Now, maybe she was really upset, but it really does look like she faked it. Check it out. On Monday, Democratic Socialist Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was criticized for pushing photos of herself self seemingly intended to help quell the blowback she received from equating detention centers at the U.S. Uh, the U.S.-Mexico border with World War II era camps. The photos were apparently taken at Tornillo, Texas, detention center, but did not show the conditions the congresswoman was upset about. Rather, the pictures were merely of Ocasio-Cortez looking sad by a chain-linked fence. Users online, many of whom identified as her supporters, mocked the photo op and suggested the, the pictures were staged. I gotta say, it really does look like she's pretending to be upset for the camera to benefit her campaign. The photos are of her, not the facilities and not what was happening because she doesn't care. I do not believe she cares. I believe she is a sociopath who was playing up to tribalism to win, plain and simple. The Democrats said, let's, let's fund the, the, the border security and, and, and give Trump what he needs. They, they came up with a bipartisan bill for $4.5 billion. And who obstructed? Ocasio-Cortez. What was the money going to do? It was going to help these kids. And guess what? While the Democrats have sat around doing nothing, more migrants have been coming through, and now they're dying on the border from heat, exhaustion, exposure, etc., we don't want these people wandering the desert. We can't help all of them. The conditions are bad enough. We are strained. Can we please do something? I don't know what we need to do. I really don't. I can't tell you what we need to do. But I saw Democrats step up and say, we're going to do something with Republicans. And I said, thank you, Democrats. You have my respect. We can criticize them for dragging their feet all day and night, but I don't care. They've come to the right choice. Let's congratulate them for doing the right thing now and say this plain and simple. I will encourage good behavior. If the Democrats are willing to step up and make that change, they deserve our respect. And that's what I want to see. Bipartisanship, problem solving. But Ocasio-Cortez was not one of those Democrats, nor was Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, Ayanna Presley, et cetera, et cetera. And what happened now? It's not getting done. And then what do we see? Ocasio-Cortez tweets out these photos of her pretending to be sad. Like, it is such an exaggerated photo. It is such an exaggerated, nonsensical photo. I'm going to go through the photos in a second. There's a quote. Before AOC hit the national stage and was just a fairly unknown House candidate from NYC, she took time away from her campaign to come down to Tornillo to protest the tent city housing migrant children. I made these previously unpublished photos a year ago today, posted Ivan Pierre uh, Aguera, uh, hopefully pronouncing right, the man who took the photos of Ocasio-Cortez. Let's take a look at some of these photos. Um, actually, we'll do this because Ocasio-Cortez tweeted in response, and that's the photo what I've pulled up, so we'll, we'll show this. AOC pushed the photos to her 4.5 million followers on Twitter, captioning the tweet, I'll never forget this because it was the moment I saw with my own eyes that the America I love was becoming a nation that steals refugee children from their parents and caged them. I am disgusted and infuriated by this woman. This is a photo of her, of herself looking sad and looking into the camera, calling these children refugees. She is lying. She is manipulating. It is just not true. 
It is just not true. She said, more kids died after this. To date, no one has been held accountable, she added. We need to save these kids. Well, it's not you. You're obstructing. You're saying not one dollar and more kids are getting sick. So here's the tweet. She tweeted this and said, more kids uh, uh, died after this. 36,000 retweets. Let's pull up this guy's uh, tweet right here. Here's one photo. For those that are listening, I'll just try and describe them. She's looking with a furled brow and a wince toward the camera. In the next photo, she's covering her eyes and it looks like she's pretending to cry. Maybe she was really crying. I don't know, but it definitely looks like she's pretending and she's not good at it. We have another photo where she's now bending over, looking down, covering her eyes. Once again, I say this looks like she's pretending to cry because the last photo shows that she's just got a furled brow. There's no tears. Her eyes aren't puffy. It does not look sincere. Her own supporters said it looks staged. Here are some photos published in, uh, some of the same photos published in uh, a year ago, in June of 2018. Now he said these photos weren't previously released, but some of them were. The first photo shows a very similar position where she's bent over and she's got one hand on her leg and she's covering her eyes as if she's crying. The next photo shows her just staring longingly with a furled brow. Another photo shows her with both hands over her eyes and someone putting their arm around her. And finally, the gate is partially opened and we can see there's some uh, DHS police standing there keeping guard. What is she looking at? I don't know. Because the big problem here is that while it absolutely appears to be staged, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez doesn't appear to be looking at anything that I can, she's looking at the tent city, but what is she crying about? Looking at a bunch of tents? Interestingly, they're not showing us what she's looking at. Because I assure you, she's not looking at a bunch of kids hunched over and crowded in cages. She's looking at a bunch of big tents. Like I've seen, the photos I've seen of this place, they're big tents. And she's looking off crying about what? I don't believe it. And no one else does either. The story goes on. While some praised the freshman congressman for looking sincerely heartbroken, not all her supporters were won over. I love AOC, but these images feel so staged. It undermines her credibility on these issues. This crisis is not about striking photos of a congresswoman. It is about dying children. I agree. She's posting photos of herself. Please post photos of the kids. And say, seriously. When an AOC defender claimed the elected Democrat was not posing, but merely caught by a photog on the scene, the one responded, this is not an example of that. I reiterate these feel contrived and staged, not organic. This is a bad look. Well, I love that. It's a bad look. Yeah, it is. Another left-wing Twitter user criticized, show the children at the, at the conditions. This isn't about her face, not helping. Other reactions of a similar flavor flooded the replies to the tweets. And at such a relief, she was able to be followed by a photographer on this day, instead of, you know, just going like a regular person. Regurgitated PR stunt, another reply said, linking to photos of AOC in black and white posted by Pierre Aguirre in June of last year. Make sure to look into the camera for Max Sympathy, a tweet mocked. Thanks for showing me a ton of pics of the terrible conditions and not just a bunch of selfies, one sarcastic tweet reads. If these photos were about the camps, the photos would be of the camps. The comments are about the main subject of the photo. The criticism is not directed towards an agreement or disagreement of the situation. It is towards an obvious PR stunt using the children as props. This is why I don't believe Ocasio-Cortez cares. She's, she's saying ab abolish ICE. What does that mean? What are you going to do? She, when, when offered to come to a bipartisan agreement with Republicans on humanitarian aid, she obstructs. She doesn't care. She doesn't care about the kids. And when it comes time, she posts photos of herself. It completely explains who she is. She's Lady Trump. I'm not the only one who feels that way. She is the female version of Trump. You know, I wish her all the best. Political success because she deserves it. These are the politicians we get. We get what we deserve. The world we created. Congratulations. A selfie posting woman who doesn't care to fund humanitarian aid to actually save kids, who postures and panders and pretends. These are the most staged photos I've seen. You used this place and people for a photo op pretty sick, someone re replied. Sorry, this to me looks like a staged photo op. Tragic situation nonetheless at the border, but none of this was candid in nature. And this was when she was campaigning. And this is what got her elected, an exploit, pretending to care. On June 17, Ocasio-Cortez posted an Instagram story lamenting the detention centers at the southern border, describing them as concentration camps. 
The government is running concentration camps on our southern border, she told her followers. And she goes on. I'm not going to rehash the old story. I'm going to end it there. I just can't stand her. I really can't. She holds some similar policies to me. Sure, fine. But so does Dan Crenshaw. I disagree with her on a lot of issues. And I think this shows her character. This is who she is. I'll leave it there. Thanks for hanging out. Stick around. I'll see you tomorrow on the main channel. And I'll stress. Tim Pool Daily Show podcast. Minds.com slash Timcast. Share the video if you think it's deserving of being shared. And I'll see you all next time.